Piers Morgan irritates Meghan as he drops bombshell on her for Ofcom verdict. Piers Morgan was subject of an Ofcom investigation in March after he said he refused to believe comments made by the Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle during an interview with Oprah Winfrey, were true, with the regulator's verdict on the case looming. Piers Morgan has spoken out in anticipation of the verdict from Ofcom after Meghan Markle personally complained about him and his words about her on Good Morning Britain before his explosive exit. The former Good Morning Britain host landed himself in hot water with the regulator in March when he said he refused to believe comments made by the Duchess of Sussex during an interview with Oprah Winfrey were true. Meghan told how she struggled with her mental health while working as a senior member of the royal family and had been subject to racial discrimination in the royal family. Piers later resigned from GMB after refusing to apologize for his ranting, which went on to become the most complained about TV moment in regulator Ofcom's history. Ofcom confirmed that 57,121 people, including Meghan herself, had submitted formal complaints over the presenter's comments about her. Piers began by retweeting an article that read, at Piers Morgan proving difficult to replace on Good Morning Britain, admits ITV boss. He then added of his intrigue, on the subject of my exit from Matt GMB, it can't be long before a Tofcom rules on the most complained about moment in UK TV history, my refusal to believe Princess Pinocchio. She personally complained to the regulator and the CEO of ITV. Should be a fascinating verdict. In response, some fans praised him for sticking by his guns over his decision to not apologize to Meghan or ITV over his comments. One told the Arsenal fan, that was the best walkout I'd ever seen. Stick to your guns, Arsenal's as well, and carry on speaking the truth. Another replied, I don't agree with everything you say and that's opinion and everyone in a free world is entitled to that. While a third remarked, all he had to do was apologize and he would have kept his job, he decided to stand by what he said so I think he owned it really. But other social media users rushed to defend Meghan and blasted Piers for not being objective. One said, you got personal. If you were objective about Meghan, like a true journalist should be, you might still be on GMB. While another added, it was five months ago Piers catch a grip. Piers stepped down from Good Morning Britain at the beginning of the year after he clashed with weatherman Alex Beresford over his comments on Meghan's mental health, as the Duchess revealed she had suffered suicidal thoughts while being a senior member of the royal family. After the Oprah clip aired, the father of four said during the episode, I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says. I wouldn't believe her if she read me a weather report. An Ofcom spokesperson said, We have launched an investigation into Monday's episode of Good Morning Britain under our harm and offence rules. The following day after the TV regulator announced their investigation, Piers addressed his divisive comments about Meghan's mental health on the show. He said, when we talked about this yesterday, I said is an all-encompassing thing I don't believe what Meghan Markle is saying generally in this interview, and I still have serious concerns about the veracity of a lot of what she said. But let me just state on the record my position about mental illness and on suicide. These are clearly extremely serious things that should be taken extremely seriously, and if someone is feeling that way they should get the treatment and help they need every time. However, when Alex challenged his remarks, it appeared to be the final straw for the show's host of six years, as he stormed off the set of six years.
that 57,121 people, including Meghan herself, had submitted formal complaints over the presenter's comments about her. Piers began by retweeting an article that read, at Piers Morgan proving difficult to replace on Good Morning Britain, admits ITV boss. He then added of his intrigue, on the subject of my exit from Matt GMB, it can't be long before a Tofcom rules on the most complained about moment in UK TV history, my refusal to believe Princess Pinocchio. She personally complained to the regulator and the CEO of ITV. Should be a fascinating verdict. In response, some fans praised him for sticking by his guns over his decision to not apologize to Meghan or ITV over his comments. One told the Arsenal fan, that was the best walkout I'd ever seen. Stick to your guns, Arsenal's as well, and carry on speaking the truth. Another replied, I don't agree with everything you say and that's opinion and everyone in a free world is entitled to that. While a third remarked,